call oh. If not be billing or something they suck oh. And here you be, I'm a my money is involved oh. Oh, you are blessed because Beautiful video waiting we gain by Victor Adi And of course we have him here in the studio Let's find out all about his story, his journey And what inspired him to write those exact lyrics If you know get money waiting we gain Joining us to be on the show is Victor Adi Thank you so much for joining yeah, us Yes, you're welcome so let's start with this song. What made you write the song? If we don't get money, wait, wait till we gain. Did you really mean it? That yeah. if we don't make money in this life, there's nothing else we gain. Look, at, at the end of the day, you, why are you here? You need to make money. You need to react close now. <laughs> you need to freshen up and all that. So uh, I know some persons will say, uh, Shay, you know, go make Kevin. But bro, if you don't make money, you can't say, do, do, do. Shay, now only every night you come here, come here. <laughs> you, this you brother still, is angry. You still make money to them from there you need to fulfill what you have to do here on earth first before you think of going there you shouldn't be all that concerned about making everyone making everyone then you forget everything you gotta do you still get one or two to do well it. many people will uh, disagree with you on that so yeah. they will tell you that you know in making heaven that is when you'll be giving the strategy on how to make money but that's a conversation yeah. for another day let's talk about you know you and your journey let's talk about this song first of all this song is like the next big thing right now. Everywhere you go, it's yeah. playing. When you were writing this song, did you know it was going to be a hit? No, I never thought it was going to be a hit. Although I knew it was going to blow to an extent, but I never thought it was going to be this big and this fast. So initially, when I did the song, it was more like a conversation between God and I. Uh, Baba, if, like you can, this song can actually tell for itself. Uh, Baba, you know it's me, you don't talk, make it manifest. The street now by grace, nobody was so past the carry first. It's just, it's just this song, same young boy, broke boy, we don't hustle for a very long time. Try up, try down. I don't try left, try right. No work. I tried all the strategies I know, and I had to just leave it and God just take control. So when I released the song, I gave it to a blogger. I was like, bro, how far? Anyhow you want to do with this song, just do it. Like, this, I'm not actually. It's not a strategy for me to blow. Uh, I know they do them because I want to collect one or two self. Just put it out there, and people should actually hear my complaints and my heart. And, like I'm pointing out my heart to God. That was it. And then from there, it went viral, and it's, it's become a big deal. Now you mentioned a while ago earlier that. You know, it was part of the lyrics. You've tried different things. Can yeah. you share with us some of the things you tried? Okay, I could remember while I started music, like 2008, why I wanted to take music serious. That was like 2008. When I wanted to take music serious, 2008. So I went for a live band audition where where I was actually not given a good answer because somebody now, even customer, and I can't drive myself, say, guy, come out, you know, Sabi Singh, you should just leave. So I had to go home back, to go to my drawing board, do a lot of things, yeah, try out the audition. There's no audition you do in Nigeria then from 2008 that I did not attend. From any brand at all, just name. You get my point? So I tried everything, all the auditions. If, the, if it's happening in Warrior, yeah, I do Warrior. And that same audition, they happen for Lagos. I will come Lagos. So if I don't win Lagos, so I go Porta Cotton. So from there, then that was how I moved to school. I, get, I gained admission in 2012, 2013. I was a So. Yeah, I, that was when I took music serious. And I, I was doing pitching English cover of other Western songs, like John Legend, All of Me, then Rihanna Stay, Eric Iglesias, Ayo. So I did pitching English covers of those songs. So that was when I knew that music is the thing. Now your song is it's, it's, it's now an official big deal. But how has your family, you know, they say sometimes that the prophet is never recognized in his home. Yeah. How, how has, your, has your immediate family reacted to all the change? And how has the change affected you as well? Uh, like uh, it has affected affected me positively because like they say normally if you got no carry but if God bless you carry all your body and most people will be like ah, Victor idea far 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 but still every year is still good and I'm still trying to make sure trying my best to make sure I take the rest of people I have there with me because it's not easy down there man this is like the biggest thing I've waited my whole life for this day it's not easy at all because I could remember those days where I would go for live band shows I had to sleep outside carry almost so many story epic. We start to talk and we shouldn't even come on yourself. So you get so many things that I've actually been through. But now my family they react well. But initially, uh, no good deal. Although she my mom and my my parents, every parents want the best for their children. You get so they be like go to school, get good grades, don't be a thought. You should make things work out for yourself. So during while I was in school I was still trying to make ends meet. Now still the music from there I take to pay my own fees, buy textbooks and all that. So it's been great and thank God now. Let, let's go back to the little boy you were years yeah. ago. You know, Victor Adere as a little boy. What, what, what was Victor Adere as? What was he like? And what were your dreams and your aspirations at that time? Yeah, uh, well, the definition was for me then was a broke boy. As in, I was broke, 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 broke. I never had, no, there was nobody to support me majorly musically. 
So even school self, back by the hand, I one or two would get from the music and all that live band shows. So that was how I used to pay my pave my way through school. Then I could remember those nights where I would go for shows. And because my gate then, they lock on by 10. So if I go out late, if it's a C10, bro, don't even bother yourself. You just look for somewhere to sleep. So I'll go for shows knowing that I will not be able to make it by 10. I'll just get wrapped out outside. There's a store close to my house. So most of the time I do sleep there. I'll just get wrapped out. While I'm, while I'm going back, I'll just put Lady Rapper there by 12, sleep there till like 5 a.m. Then I'll go house, go knock. And I wouldn't want to tell my mom that I slept outside. I'll be like, I slept in a friend's place. But me and you, you know, say, mom, I don't get any friend. We'll say, we even accommodate me by that time. You get my point. So I'll just be like, ah, I slept in a friend's place. We just did, did, did so that they won't get bothered. But not knowing, it was actually a day that was when yeah, they got to realize that, ah, this guy, you know, they go house, in a store. Person store in the sleep. They can't catch me for there. So you get. But I didn't make it loud. I just find way it stayed in the loud. Because you know parents now, they are too emotional. I, they, for me, I knew what I was looking for. And I could do anything proper then to make it. I like that. You could do anything proper. proper to make it. And you're already on that path now. What would you say was the point that changed your career and turned it around? Uh, it was this Waiting Me game. Initially, I actually thought my first, but the song before Waiting Me game was going to like bring me to the other Because then I strategized. I don't do all, connect all my connect all my plugs. I tried it. It didn't work for me. So that was why I said, I don't want to take the same step when I take last year when it work for me. So those words are actually spiritual. It's not your normal, regular kind of word. I didn't, didn't just, I didn't just say those things because I want to fix lyrics inside the song. Those things were actually coming from my heart. It was something that was coming from my heart, like deep down. So. Lots of young artists usually say there are several older artists that have helped them and paved the way for them in yeah. the industry. Did any of them assist you? If yes, can you give us names? Okay, I wouldn't, the, the, I can't actually point out someone that said it because the, with the way I came, I just, it seemed, and people would be like, ah, that guy just came from nowhere, just boom into our face. You know, there was no trace. Because on the norms, it, it starts with maybe uh, you do one kind of small video for Instagram, then somebody just help you, say something, but mine, there was no trace. It just came like boom. And I, funny enough, I wasn't worried then when I did this song. And you know what, you know, in my own state, Delta Speed, and when it comes to platform musically, you know, big like, Lagos, Lagos. Is, yeah, like Lagos is the each. So you get, so the thing, there was no no specific choice. It was when things started popping up, I was I started getting support from my fellow artists and all that. So what would you but say then, is... But then, but then, okay, but then again, hey, I could remember, Eriga. I did a song, Motivation with Eriga. It's, uh, it's, it's big in the South. It's like our own king of the South. Really. So I did a song with Eriga, Motivation. So that song was actually what led to... Uh, Waiting we Waiting Okay. Now, who is the one artist that really inspires you the most, or the one artist that you think you model yourself at? I, after, I would say that your kind of music reminds me a lot like, um, of African China, and yeah. we've missed that kind of flavor as well, so I'm really excited to have that back. But you might have different thoughts, so who yeah. would you say are your greatest musical influences in Nigeria? If I should pick one, it's going to be Jay-Z. Oh, wow. Outside Nigeria. Uh, okay, outside Nigeria, okay. Jay-Z. Then, then in Nigeria, I listen to Brimo a lot. Listen to Two Face. I listen to like basically I listen to everybody doing good music, but my love for Jay Z is something else. So you get. So what what what's the future for Victor Adi? Uh, expect more greatness, more shows outside the country because now I have like three, four shows outside the country. One in Malaysia, one in Turkey, one. And in all Germany. these things started four months ago. Yeah, yes, yeah, just four months. It, it even started officially three months ago. Three months ago, and yeah. now you have how many shows outside the country? I have like four shows that I'm yet to go before the year runs out. And I'm hoping that this story encourages anybody who has a dream, who has a vision that you've been chasing, and it just seems like it's not working out well. You've heard Victor Eddy's story. I'm hoping that you see that just one, just one day, your story can turn around, and everything that you've suffered over the years will just go away so quickly, and you look like you know this person just came out of the scratch, out of the. Uh, came out of the shadows. We don't know where you came. We couldn't trace you, just like you ex uh, yeah. explained for yourself. But we're so excited to hear your story. I'm very inspired by your, your consistency and your doggedness. So thank you very much for sharing your gift with us. And we wish you all the best. How can people follow you on social media? Uh, okay, on Instagram is Victor Adiri, V I C T U R A D R E. Then on Twitter is Victor underscore Adiri, same spelling. All right. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunga videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.